hitting the bottom can be very intense, can feel very intense. When you are deeply tested, that's when you learn to know yourself. You learn who you are at the bottom. It's a time of great learning opportunities. So, I have found the bottom a few times. And I've made it my mission to extract all of the value I can from the challenges I've experienced. I'm here to tell you how I have arrived at my conclusion that pain is a gift. It's a portal, a portal to a higher level of understanding. You can make your own conclusions. And to be fair, sometimes a gift is only seen as a gift in retrospect. Understanding the gifts of pain can take time. So I'm not saying look for the good in everything. I'm saying look for the value. I'm going to talk about some of the gifts of pain I've received, and I know that each one of you have received your own gifts of pain. These are simply some of the things I have learned. About a dozen years ago, I did the first really, really hard thing I'd ever done, and that was leaving the close-knit faith community that I had been born and raised in. Now, we all have this fear of disappointing our parents, right? We want our parents' approval. When I realized that I was going to be leaving this community, I knew that meant disappointing my parents, going against what they had taught me, the way they had raised me, in some aspects. And It was an it was a experience of how honesty can take you to unexpected places. Now, what I learned through that experience was that I can do hard things. I believe that's a universal truth. We all can do hard things. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves of that. You can't let what other people think determine who you are. You must trust yourself and do what you know is right for you. There's more than one right way. I learned to speak honestly and without hostility. I know I don't do this perfectly all the time, but it has become my creed, my motto. Speak honestly and without hostility. So many of us, we wait to be honest until... When it does come out, it comes out with some hostility, right? And hurts those around us. So, be honest sooner and calmer. But this was the big one I learned. Disagreement does not equal rejection. You can disagree with someone and still show love, respect, and kindness. Now, next up on my journey was divorce. When I found out that my marriage was going to be ending, I was convinced that was a bad thing. Now, I know that that was the catalyst that propelled me into the greatest journey of my life. So, what I learned through that experience was to be slow to label something as good or bad. We all know this. The worst thing that's ever happened to you can be the best thing that's ever happened for you. I know we all know this. I'm just reminding you of that. Let's be slow to label something as good or bad. Resentment is an insidious killer. It kills the joy in life. It kills relationships. And I have made the decision that 
resentment has no place in my life. I do not have room for resentment in my life. Our children are watching us as adults. They know and feel if there's goodwill between, between parents or not. It affects them. Working on ourselves and learning to communicate in healthy ways is a gift to both ourselves and our children. We all change with time. If we're growing, we're changing. We're changing into who we are. So, allow others to be who they are. Allow yourself to be who you are. Who you are is unique and amazing. Next on my journey was mental illness. That is something that, there's some stigma around that in our society, right? And I believe we need to break that down and how we do that is by being honest, by talking about it, by being real with each other. I certainly had judgments towards it. And, you know, I'd, I'd gone against my own, I was going through a challenging time in life, but I'd gone against my own intuition for so long that it actually manifested in, in mental illness, anxiety and depression combined. And, you know, one way to grow your empathy for something you don't understand is to experience it personally, to feel what it's like. That is a hell I wouldn't wish on anyone. Um, what I learned is that the body is wise. Listen to your body. Pay attention to your nervous system. Trust your gut instead of rationalizing. Your instincts are there for a reason. Pay attention to what you hear in the quiet moments. No matter what your spiritual, religious beliefs are, when we're quiet, when we're sitting with ourselves, pay attention to what comes through. That's really important. Intuition. We all have it. I learned that I am responsible for my vibration. No one else is responsible for me. I am. So there are healthy habits, healthy things that I can do when I feel my vibration dropping. I know the things I need to do to bring it back up. And that's my responsibility. And when someone needs a hug, don't give them a lecture. Now, I want to take you to a moment in time. I had just spent uh, about a week and a half in the Cross Cancer Institute in Edmonton. I'd been diagnosed with stage four lymphoma. And while I was in the hospital, awaiting my first round of chemotherapy, I got the call from my cardiologist that I had a aortic aneurysm. Totally separate issue. Related to a genetic condition that I have, it's actually why I'm so tall. And so two major diagnoses within the same week. Now, everything was right here. This was where the cancer was. This is where my heart issue was. So we couldn't go in and do open heart surgery right away. We had to first cure the cancer. So, got around to chemo. My parents dropped me back off at home. I walked into an empty house, dark, alone. That was the loneliest I have ever felt in my life. And as I sat in that silence, my body fighting this disease, also knowing that I had this lurking danger here, I realized that I had a choice to make, a choice of mindset. Am I dying or am I here to live? Now, I had already been through 
multiple vehicle crashes, an airplane mishap, and a motorcycle accident. Any of those things could have easily taken my life. I'd walked through numerous things and I sat there and I was like, no, if I was going to go, I would have gone already. This is not here to take me. And I, I walked forward. That was, that was a long journey. Now, the extra benefit I got out of this was that my cardiologist had told me to do nothing more than walking for, till we could get this fixed. So for a year and a half, I had the opportunity to live each day knowing it could be my last. This could blow at any time. And that's a gift that very few people understand. But to actually walk through each day knowing this could be my last, that gave me a gratefulness, a reverence, a life is so precious. And it changed me. It, it, it changed me. What I learned through that is that fear is an illusion. You're not going to die until it's your time. So live each day fully. Risk is a valuable thing to experience. Risk sharpens the senses. It makes you feel alive. And you learn to trust yourself. Life is precious. Don't take it for granted. Live each day fully. The fallout of all this is that I went through bankruptcy. To have everything stripped away is, is quite an experience. To be sitting among the broken pieces with nothing to hide behind, fully exposed, right? That's, for me, this is where this all came together. I learned that it's possible to be calm in the storm. Heat and pressure is how diamonds are created. I reminded myself of that every day. I've learned that money is not needed in order to be happy. Happiness comes from within, not from money. It's a choice. It's a mindset. What really opened my eyes to the gifts of pain is that, so I, I became homeless, I was living in my holiday trailer, and I asked my former spouse if I could park it on her yard. So I spent the summer living on her yard, interacting with my children every day, and it did wonders for those relationships. They are here tonight, and I'm grateful for that. That's what really, that's when, to me, it all came together like, oh, pain is a gift. It can be a real blessing in disguise. The interesting thing out of all this is that I emerged happy, in love with life. I don't have bad days anymore. I have challenging days, but no bad days. Every day is a gift. So, when pain arrives in your life, listen to what it has to say. Allow it to change you. Allow it to teach you. Allow yourself to grow and evolve through your experiences of pain. I am convinced that things don't happen to us, they happen for us. We grow when we change the question. Instead of saying, why is this happening to me? Begin to ask, what is this here to teach me? When you live by that philosophy for long enough, you begin to understand that 
everyone and everything is my teacher. Especially the people who trigger me. Especially the challenging circumstances. It's all my teacher. It's here to make me a better person. So, hold gratitude for everything, including the darkness. Because darkness holds great value. It provides contrast for the light. And I want to leave you with this encouragement. Always stay curious. Always stay learning. Take the next right step. Whatever that looks like for you. We often can't see the whole path, but we know what the next right step is. Live each day fully. Make gratitude a daily practice and be present to the magic of life. Thank you.